Yo, what is going on guys? This is George from BFS and today I have a very little special video for you. Basically today guys, the reason why I haven't actually been uploading lately is because I've been doing a bit of programming. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. Um, I've been using, lately I've been using Eclipse, which is that, and uh, uh, Visual Basic 2008 Express. And I've made my a little website. Don't hate this. Is my first one with HTML. Uh, I've just done all the bits and bobs on it. Really, that's my first ever try. Uh, no help whatsoever. Obviously, looked at some of the code, see what happened. But there you go. So, what am I going to show you today? Well, it is Nerdpad. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. When I found out. You can use this as a programming system. And I will show you how to do it. Mind you, if, if, if I get enough likes or whatever, I'll make another episode of advanced version of programming on Notepad if you want. But today I'm just going to show you a basic. So, you can use notepad as a setup if you would like so let's say you have I don't know like Sony Vegas I don't know why but let's say you have the Sony Vegas set up in a folder that's locked like in WinRAR and you need to make a setup for it and basically you can link it around but that's not what we're going to do today today is a very basic version and there are two things you're going to need obviously a notepad which you get all the time I need a couple of files. So I have a setup application, a Windows Movie, <coughs> Windows Movie, and a JPEG. Something like that. And you're going to need back to EXE converter. So let's get started. So, what you want to do first, guys, is you want to put at echo off. Okay? So that means it's off there. Now what you want to do is put echo. And basically echo means echoing. So you're typing hello. It's going to echo back. That's going to show up on the command. So, so what should we type there? Hello. And well. well to this. Set up. Okay, sweet. So then you want to put a pause. And a pause is basic. Well, I'll show you what a pause is. So let's save it to the file. God, I'm tired. It's like fucking quarter past four. I'll just put you two for sure. And when you're doing this, guys, always remember dot bat. And it's got to be in all files. So you save it. And we're going to go onto it. Have a little tester. And it's going to be the one with the gears. Okay, hello and welcome to the setup. Press any key to continue. And that will close it down because it's got nothing to do. It's not active. So what we want to do. Right, there's either three things you can do. Or oh, four things really. You can open up a picture. Setup. Or a video. Or a website. And luckily for you guys, I'll do all four right now. So what you want is start. And another thing, guys, you don't with all your videos, pictures, and setup, you don't want any spaces in the names. Okay. So let's do this one first, for example, because this one looks like it's got an underscore. Oh, that's alright, you. So you get a name. Type in the name, and it is a jpg file and that's all that does so that starts that and you want to pause space it out then you want to start another one and that is our oh, hand type is what's called Vegas Vegas Pro 11 .0. 682 and 
underscore 32 bit and that is an extension because it's an application so that's that then you want to put another pause and then you want what's it called uh, start vts underscore the one underscore one and that is a windows media player no I try to double check with that one because I can't remember what that one is. Vob. A vob. Vob. Sounds Russian. And then you want another pause. So if you want to save that, give it a little will. So you get that. And I don't know why was the setup like that. I fucking love cocaine. God damn you do. And you go again, and it brings you hopefully to the setup. Yep. And then you obviously press no, so it says access denied. Press enter again, it gives you the video. And there's the video. Obviously, I'll record an M capture. And it's a little video of me playing with Death Pred. And pretty much. Just was quite funny that was. But anyway. And also guys, if you wanted maybe to I don't know, link it to your channel, you would just start. HTTP always remember semicolon slashes. www.youtube.com slash blue flag. Can't catch me. Like that. And you want to pause. And then you want echo. Thank. Thanks for using this. Using this program. Uh, thanks for using this program. Then you want to pause just to make sure they read it, and that should pretty much be it. Control S that saves it. Let's take it for a will. I fucking love cocaine. God damn you do. And then you want to press that again. You want to press no. Access denied. Blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it still works. Yep. Yeah. You get linked. And it says thank you for using this program. And that's pretty much it. And if you wanted to make this into an official program, if you will, what you want to open up is the bat to the XA again. We'll go here again. Go to your file that you recently just did. And it should already do it. And then you want version, versions, informations, blah, blah, blah. You can edit all this. Your icon files, downloads, I'll use the Master Chief one for now. And then you compile. And then once we go back to it, it should be a, a application. But I wouldn't advise moving it. As you can see, if I move it, then double click it, it's not going to be there. So all the files have to be where the location is, or else it won't go. As you can see, there you go. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And so, if you wanted me to make another one, then please like and comment. You know, you know the drill. Okay, so peace out and see you soon, guys.